Alright, so I'm going to shout open up and disassemble this Samsung model NP730 um, QCJ. Okay, so first what you want to do, um, just on the back side, you want to pop out these little uh, rubber feet. So just use your fingernail or a little pry tool and get between the edges and then just pop it up just like that. Okay, on all four, four corners. Okay. Just pop these out. It's a little bit tricky. And this one's kind of stuck. You just have to do from the bottom corner. Okay. There we go. All right. And then it looks like you want to use a um, pH zero or J zero. All right. Just pop those out. Once you get those four screws out, then you should be able to pop this open. This is the first time I'm opening this, so we'll see if it's difficult or if it's going to just come out easily. Uh, let's see, where's the little latch? I'm going to try with a suction cup since I can't really see where the gap is because there's too many little gaps in this one. Oh, here we go. So I'll try with the suction cup and see if it comes up. Here we go. Okay, so here you can see the gap is actually up here. So there's like lots of little lines in it that makes it a little confusing. But the gap is actually down in front. Okay, so we'll pop this all out. Just go all the way around. Okay. Looks like there's some stronger clips towards the middle as well inside. Okay, but just go all the way around. Okay, just like this. All right. Okay. Clips on the back are a little tough. But let's see here. Maybe the suction cup will make it easier. Yeah, if you have a suction cup, it makes it a little bit easier because you can grab like on the corners and just pull it up. Okay. Let's see. The back clips are a bit stronger. So it does it clips underneath the vent. So I don't know if you can see, but the clips go under this vent and they're pretty tough to remove. So let's see here. Yeah, this this one the clips are pretty tough to remove. So if you're gonna do this, um, just be careful. Alright, I might have to use my other pry tool. Just glue all over it from opening a MacBook or removing a MacBook battery. But let's see here. So I might need a pry tool for the back. Ow, the back is pretty tough to open up. Hmm. I don't know. I don't want to use too much force on this thing. There's nothing on the other side. So, I don't know if there's a special way I can move it, pull it forward, push it backwards, nope, it really doesn't want to come out, oh there we go, okay, so you get the pry tool in, and then you push, push this cover forward, okay, so like this. Looks like that's working. Hmm. 
work on half of it. Let's try the other side now. Wow, these clips are really strong. Wow, I don't know. This is pretty tough. Okay. There we go. Okay, so I don't know. While I was pulling it, I just pushed that and it pulled it out. So the clips do clip under there this way. So I guess as you're lifting it, you need to put some pressure on the bottom of this to push these clips inside and then it pops out. Okay, so as you can see inside, here's the battery. Um, let's see, model number. There's no model number here. Oh, here. So the model number AA-PBSN4AF. Okay, so to remove the battery, you take out these screws. Um, I don't want to take it out because there's tape on it, but basically this connector, it just pops up. So there's not really a place to grip it. Um, so what I do is I get my fingernail underneath um, the cable as close as I can, and then you can just pull it up, but be careful. Don't use too much force. You don't make sure you're not prying up the gray part. You want to just pry up the cables for the white connector. Okay, so just like this. There is a little clip. I don't think you can push that with your finger. Let me see if I can. No. Oh, yeah. Okay, and then it comes out like that. So the side little tabs here, they have some little spring clips that kind of go over. You can try and push on that, and then it'll help you remove it. Um, after removing the battery, usually you'd want to hold the power button just to drain any power from it. So that way it doesn't um, damage any components if you remove anything. Uh, so hold it about 15 seconds or so. All right. Um, it looks like most of the board is one piece. Um, uh, I don't want to take out the battery, so I'm going to guess this is the keyboard connector. So to remove that, you flip up this little latch and then you can pull that out. Um, the trackpad connector most likely. Then you got this um, connector from the main board to this board with the USB ports and the um, micro SD card reader. You got these smaller cables. Um, you got the keyboard backlight connector here. Um, I'm not sure what all of these connectors are. Let's see the power button. Oh, okay. That's actually directly to the power button. And then this one, I don't know what that's going into. Is there a fingerprint reader or something on there? Oh yeah, that's for the fingerprint reader. All right, then you got the M.2 uh, PCIe NVMe SSD here. So it is upgradable. Um, and then you got the LCD connector here with a little latch. If you lift this up, then you can pull the cable back. All right, um, and yeah, the PCIe NVMe, you take the one screw out, it'll pop up slightly at an angle and you can wiggle it out. You got the wireless card here, but it's built into the computer so you can't really change it. But to remove the antennas, you just go as close to the tail as you can and then pop it up just like that. And to put it back, you just line it up, make sure that the circle lines up, and then push it down. Okay, Just like that, snaps into place. Um, and then the USB or the HDMI and the USB-C port, they're all like part of the, this board. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, that's the charge board. Okay. Um, then you got the fan, three screws holding it in, and then the connector here. To remove that, you kind of just grab the wings, wiggle it, and it'll pop out. Don't use too much force pulling it. Just keep wiggling it, and it'll eventually pop out. Um, and looks like other than the speakers here, they're each connected separately. Um, those connectors, you also pop them up just like the battery. Uh, so yeah, other than that, that's pretty much all there is to this model. Um, you can't really upgrade RAM or anything. But yeah, hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe because that'll help me. And thank you for watching. Bye.